you know that you can trade Lego minifigures at Legoland? This is one of our kids' favorite things to do at Legoland. Join us as we spill the beans on Legoland minifigures. Want to know the secret every Legoland employee knows? Stay tuned to the end of the video when we drop an Easter egg. And share more secrets about Legoland Malaysia's minifigures. Check our trade counter. You won't believe how many trades we actually make. Hello, sorry, can I take a final photo? We are going, going, back, back. A full-time traveling family. Spending three months at Legoland Malaysia. Did you know you can trade your minifigures at Legoland Malaysia? Hi, we're in the big store. We've come to build a minifigure. We're gonna get to pick out our headgear, our head, our torso, our legs, and an accessory. And we get three of those for 40 ringgit, which is about 10 US dollars. Yeah. Our family loves trading minifigures so much that we set ourselves a challenge to see how many Lego minifigures we can trade we in one day. In today's video, we'll be building our own family Lego minifigure. We got torsos. And then 24 hours from now, we're going to go back to the park and make as many trades as we can. Here's our family challenge rule. You must make every trade you can, no refusing trades, no matter how much you love the minifigure. You can't trade for the same minifigure twice, and don't stop trading until you leave the park. This is one of our favorite family activities at Legoland Malaysia. How many trades do you think we can make? 24, 47, 35? Watch to the end of the video to find out. Fine, magnifying glass, mouth, ears. Chichi, what you got? I'm trying to get back. Oh. What you got? I got a Spin Jitsu Master with a bat. Nice. Uh huh. He's from New York. New York Pizza Man. And then we got our men we made. And yours. Hello. I did mine. Here's the family one. Quick it, the last one. Oh, she's trying to pick. Pick one. Pick one. Binoculars or a puppy? Is it a puppy? Rob loves making trades, so he's gonna lead our Legoland minifigure trading adventure tomorrow. They are, uh, they are also selling sets at the checkout. You feel like your guys were an absolute no. Our annual pass gets us 10% off. Lego merchandise in the store! All right, 108 for those three boxes with three characters and nine characters. <laughs> Thanks, guys! Are these for the fun building your own Lego guys? Cricket, would you recommend someone come and build a Lego guy? And then what can you do once you've built your Lego guy? <laughs> Once you buy it, what can you do anywhere in the park with someone who has a Lego man? Trade it! We began at Legoland San Diego in 2010. The start of minifigure trading then expanded to locations worldwide. Minifigure trading! Minifigure trading is a way for park employees to engage with visitors. This interaction helps build relationships between the visitors and the employees through this playful exchange. Trade it! Popcorn man, baby, regular man, conservationist with a wala. Legoland minifigure trading is a cool and fun activity that will make your child's experience at Legoland unforgettable. You can trade as many times as you want. You may run into Spider-Man with red lower legs, the most sought after minifigure of all time. I like to trade spin! We're starting with the family one that we made. A cloak, a bad accessory, this body, and red pants. All you do is walk up to an employee who should be wearing a Lego minifigure on his badge and ask to trade. When you hear that sound, look down at the trade counter to see how many trades Roz actually made. Most Lego employees are ready and willing to make trades. But in some cases, the trade process is more vigorous. They check to see if it's authentic hair, authentic torso, authentic head, and authentic legs. 
After a few more thorough inspections, she was ready to make the trade with Rob. Alright, that's three down. Let's head into the park to see how many more trades we can make. This guy is willing to make trades every day. Thanks a lot. This guy always has a sentimental story behind his minifigures. He's never willing to trade. We can always count on a good trade from the DJ. We love you. There's another brick store located near the entrance of the park, so we stopped in here to see if we can grab another trade. While we were there, we got a little sidetracked. Rob tried to persuade us into buying a Lego train, which is really cool. We might have to put this on his birthday wish list. All right, looks like we got another trade. Hey, I'd just like to take a second to thank all of you for helping us surpass 1.5 million views through our YouTube shorts. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and we'll continue to bring you more exciting adventures. Here's Ron Chi Chi showing off some of their favorite Legoland minifigures. We love minifigures so much that every day, each of us brings about two different Lego minifigures to the park. Now we're headed back to the main big shop at Legoland Malaysia. This is where we built our minifigures yesterday and our family minifigure. I guess we got a little more into the spirit of things than we thought, and we ended up buying six more minifigures. Like I said before, our family loves trading minifigures so much, and it was minifigure trading day, so that's a perfect excuse to buy more minifigures. Shout out to Ryan the Brickman McNaught, a fellow Aussie, and the only LEGO certified professional in the Southern Hemisphere. This next trade so quick I couldn't catch it on camera. It looks like we've knocked off one of our trade goals. Go. Regular man with woman hair?
If you head to Mindstorms, they have a case full of minifigures for you to trade. So this is where you can get a lot of your trades during the day. If you pop in and out of here during the day, you'll see that other people have made trades too. This will definitely increase your trade game. He couldn't help himself and had to get one more trade in. The next time you're at Legoland, see how many trades you and your family can make. Now remember, Legoland's worldwide participate in this activity. While we didn't find a trade at the Dragon's Apprentice, we did manage to get on the ride real quick. Minifigure trading is an awesome and unique aspect of Legoland Parks. Step one, bring a Lego minifigure from home. It can be old and worn or new and shiny. Step two, all team members wear at least one Lego minifigure on their name badges. Step three, with your own minifigure in hand, you may ask the team member to trade. <laughs> to the first aid office to make a trade, they had two exciting trades for us. One was a collector's edition brick from the Chinese New Year celebration, and one was a cool minifigure. Rai decided to trade for the Lego brick, and at the last minute, trade back for one of the Legoland minifigures. Get ready for our next series of videos where we try to ride every ride, play every game, because everything is awesome! <laughs> Raw was on a persistent hunt for more trades. Remember to leave no stone unturned. Every park employee should have a Lego minifigure on their badge. No trades, but occasionally they don't. creation of minifigures. Did you know? The first modern minifigures were released in 1978. They were designed by Jens Nygaard Knudsen. What was the first minifigure? The first ever Lego minifigure was the police officer minifigure introduced in 1978. Quiz, what is the rarest minifigure? A, 14 karat gold C-3PO. B, Spider-Man with red lower legs. Or C, Superman black suit. If you said A, you're correct. The rarest minifigure is the 14 karat gold C-3PO. Quiz, where are most minifigures produced today? A, Germany. B, China. C, Czech Republic. If you answered C, Czech Republic, you are correct. Today, minifigure components are produced in a Lego factory in Kladno, outside Prague in the Czech Republic. Quiz, how tall are minifigures? A, one and a half inches. B, four centimeters. Or C, four bricks tall. 
If you answered A, B, or C, you're correct. Minifig is commonly referred to as a minifig, or simply just fig. A small plastic figure is just over one and a half inches or four centimeters and four bricks tall. Keep an eye out for when new minifigures are released. Employees usually promote them on their badges. Keep many figures you want to trade and a special pouch or wallet so you can easily make trades when you get to the park. I'm so full of it. I wanna be the life of the We challenge you to try to trade more than we did next time you're at the park. So after a full day of trading, this is what I ended with. So I think I traded at least 25. Next time you come to Lego Land, make sure you trade your minifigures.